Well, good morning. Today I'll be reviewing the Purest Naturals Aroma Diffuser. This is the box that it will arrive in. It's packed really well. It comes with a huge set of instructions, some written, others, there are pictures and diagrams, and it also gives you a lot of information on troubleshooting and what the different buttons mean. I think you'd be really happy with these instructions. So now on to the product. Now, one of the drawbacks is, is the top fits, and you'll see how it fits here in a minute, and it's hard to get off. So you have to make sure the diffuser is empty when you're opening it because you do not want to get water into the air hole where the mist comes out. You just want water in the tray. So I went ahead and opened it for time purposes. It has three parts to it. Here's your bottom where your fill tray is. This part right here fits right on top. And you can see where the air comes out here. You also, it comes with a little measuring thing to diffuse it, but this one is from another diffuser that I have that I keep in my classroom. I am a teacher, and I really believe that aromatherapy can help my students. So I purchased this diffuser to use in my classroom. Now that I've kind of gotten the hang of it, it's really not as hard to fill and whatnot as it used to be. But when I first started, getting the lid off was just a challenge. So here, once you put the water in, you can, if you want to use it just as a mist humidifier, you can just use it just as is. However, I like to add some essential oils. I like to add lavender. That's what I'm going to use today, a little bit of lavender. And I kind of like these small ones because... The drops, you know, they come out in drops and it's a whole lot easier. And I'm also going to add a little peppermint because mint, as well as citrus, are pick-me-ups. Okay? Once you have that, you want to go ahead and cover with the inside cover. Now, I have this actually turned around to where it actually would face because I want you to see the power light on the bottom. Now, one thing I noticed is, and it, perhaps it's old outlets, but when I plug in this diffuser, I almost have to twist it a little bit to get the power light to remain on. So I wanted you to see that. Hopefully as I turn it, it will remain on and I won't have to do this again. But, and it did. If I did have to do it again, I would show you exactly how I do it. Now, if you look at the top, there are little notches that you have to line up in order to close it. So sometimes I just lay it on there and just twist it until I get it. And then it twists to lock. There are two buttons underneath, right in front of the power outlet. The top one is for your mist. You can turn it on. It's going to mist for three minutes on and three minutes off. This is my preferred setting. Um, if you want to push it again, it will continuously mist. Now, if you continuously mist it, it's not going to last near as long as it does if you do the three minutes on and one minute off. The bottom one is just for your light. And it does come with several different lights. You know, it might be green, it might be blue. And they do change. See, it's blue now. Hard to see in, in, the, dark, in the light, but it does change with this setting, which is what I like. Now, my grandson, when he has a diffuser in his, in his bedroom, he wants a certain light. So we would have to use the bottom one. I'm very happy with this diffuser. Um, I kind of waited a little bit. I've, I've had it for several weeks. I waited to review it because I wanted to find all the quirks. So if you're having trouble with it staying on uh, power-wise, make sure you twist the uh, plug-in in the outlet because some of these outlets are old and they're loose. Um, I'm pleased with the performance of it. It does last a long time. Um, and uh, 
it holds quite a bit of water for a small unit. So, I hope this you have found this very useful. Once again, this is the Purest Naturals Aroma Diffuser.